Home isn't just a place. Home is a feeling. It's not just where you love, it loves you in return. Home is people and the memories you make together. Home was all that and more for Larry Walker. Larry grew up in British Columbia, Canada, a hotbed for hockey, where pretty much every kid wanted to be Gretzky, Lemieux, or Wah. But anyone who picked up a bat wanted to be one guy, Larry Walker. We donned our 33 shirts with pride as we watched our hero take the field in our own country. It's the first Major League stolen base for Larry Walker. As an expo, still learning the game, and Walker doesn't know how many outs there were. Larry became a superstar right in front of our eyes. A five-tool outfielder with natural talent unlike any other. Just incredible power, great fielder, terrific arm, and he steals bases too, what else? For five plus seasons in Montreal, Larry's hard work made him an all-star, a two-time gold glover, and a silver slugger. Line drive, base hit, that'll do it. He led a 1994 Expos team that could only be stopped by the strike. But in 1995, the time came for Larry to leave Canada. And as a free agent, he chose to sign with the Rockies. He said the mountains and wilderness of Colorado made it feel like he was back in Maple Ridge, BC. Denver, Colorado was his new baseball home. If Montreal was where Larry became a superstar, it was in Colorado where he became an icon. For the upstart Rockies, just two years into existence, Larry vaulted the young team into must-see entertainment status. Along with Dante, Andres, and Vinny, Larry and the Blake Street Bombers led an offensive assault on National League pitching. This one, if it stays fair, it does! Coors Field and the roar of its 50,000 fans spelled nightmares for the opposition, propelling the Rockies into the playoffs for the first time in franchise history. The camp has it! The celebration began! The first year in their new home and faster than any expansion team. Then in 1997, Larry reached a new peak. A 366 average, 720 slugging, 452 on base, 49 homers, and 130 runs batted in. Deep center field, White turns, he chases it, and it is out of here. Larry Walker. His 9.8 war topped every other position player, and that's ballpark adjusted. Larry Walker has done it. All en route to a well-deserved NL MVP award. More impressive than the numbers, though, was the eye test. Larry jumped off the field, out of your TV sets and radios, and shined in every aspect of the game. His speed and grace, exceptional glove, Walker, diving catch! cannon for an arm, right in front of Walker, here comes the throw to third, they got it, oh yeah! And that sweet, sweet swing. This is gone, this one is gone. Many could do some of what Larry could, but few could do it all, and almost none of them could do it as well as him. He did it all with a flash and a smile. He gets Larry Walker. <laughs> I told you to hit right-handed. And he did it the right way. In his 10 years in Rocky's purple pinstripes, Larry's prime was as good as there ever was. Four All-Star games, five gold gloves, going, going, got it. two silver sluggers, and that MVP. But in 2004, Walker found a new home in St. Louis. It's hard to say goodbye to the fans. And uh, you move on. At 37, he helped the Cardinals reach the World Series. There it goes! Heading for the wall, it is gone! Finally, Larry had his chance on baseball's biggest stage. And what did he do? He hit 357, slugged 929, and hit two home runs. Of course he did. Larry retired a 313, 400, 565 hitter with 383 home runs and 230 stolen bases. He's only one of two players in baseball history with more than 300 home runs, Is it gonna make the third deck? Yes. 200 stolen bases, and a 950 OPS in his career. Hit number 2000 in Larry Walker's career. His 72.7 career war is 86th all time, 141 OPS plus. Yes. Those are park adjusted and era adjusted stats. And oh yeah, he had an 865 career OPS away from his team's ballpark. Even on the road, Larry was at home. He changed locations, changed ballparks, 
changed uniforms. What a great play by Larry Walker. But his number 33 stayed the same and his numbers on the field stayed elite. Home wasn't just a place. Home was his teammates. Home was his coaches. Home was his fans and admirers. This crowd's going to thank the man who has been Mr. Colorado Rocky. Larry was always at home. And when we got to watch him play, we were too.